What's up guys? As you can see, if you don't recognize this area, I'm at Coronado Springs this morning, going in for a little breakfast. Going to go shoot a win. Can we do this again for Las Ventanas? And then we're going to head over to Epcot and uh, do a little Epcot D23 action, as it might be. Talk about what is coming to Epcot in the uh, near future. So let's do that. Well, guys, um, I'm over here. We uh, just got done eating at Las Ventanas. Had a great waitress. Uh, I want to say Analia. Analia was my waitress. And she was really good, really helpful, really friendly. Um, and it was really, really, really quiet over here, guys. So, what's going to happen now? We're going to head over to Epcot. We're going to check it out and uh, talk a little D23 action. I know it's a couple of weeks late, but. At least I'm gonna get over, get a shot, and let's uh, let's figure it all out with all the new improvements happening at Epcot, guys. I was in the right line, and but the pass holder line was uber short. Like three people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, made it to Epcot, guys. We're gonna go in here and talk everything D23 and some other rumors and notes and, and things that go along with. So, uh, should be a fun day. I actually was able to snag a last second fast pass for Frozen Ever After. So, we're gonna ride Frozen, have a little fun. Probably call it an early and quick day, but we'll spend a couple hours here walking around Epcot, talking about all the news and rumors that go along with this part. I do feel like they should they should put a mouse out front though, with his hand up. Sorry guys, the mouse out front should have told you this part is under construction. Not close for construction, but it's going to be majorly under construction. The whole middle area here that is the open area between um, between here and the World Showcase, everything's going refurb, everything's getting redone, some stuff's getting moved. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff going on with that. Won't spend too much time on that because that's not really the exciting or the fun stuff that is happening over here or the big stuff. But that's just going under a refurb. They're moving the fountain, which is interesting, but uh, I don't know. It's it should be fun. It should be completely new in several years, but it seems like this is going to be under construction for a while with as many things as they've announced. Hopefully it doesn't end up like Hollywood where everything just is all, all, all done at once and you don't have a whole lot of reason to be there. We'll see. I think regardless we're looking at the fact that uh, Epcot has so much to do that it should never be completely and void of not coming over here. Um, as Soren's not going down and Test Track's not going down, uh, the two and Frozen just got done. So they're, so the three big rides over here are, are, are going to be up regardless. There's just going to be a lot of stuff going on to update the park. Take a left. We're coming over here to Ellen's Energy Adventure, which will no longer be Ellen's Energy Adventure. What's the funny thing about this park, this whole back area right now is kind of Kind of toast anyway. Right now you have the refurb that's going on at Submission Space. Funny enough, I could have them replace that and never miss it. It's amazing because I've rode it once and probably will never ride it again because of motion sickness. The refurb on Mission Space should be done sometime shortly. It's been extended here recently, but that's what's been going on there. So yes guys, Ellen's Universe of energy will be gone come August 13th. It's one of the casualties 
of new stuff coming into the park. I don't have an issue that this ride's gone, though it is a great place to like kick back, relax, and enjoy yourself and get out of the heat and everything on a sunny day. Uh, I just have an issue with what's coming here. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Epcot. Yeah, it makes no sense to me, guys. Makes really, really no sense. Um, I wish they would pick a direction for Epcot and stick with it. That, that's my issue right now. Is it does not seem like Epcot has any direction whatsoever. It's just, let's put whatever we can over here to try to get people in the park, as opposed to like keeping some kind of theme to the park. As this park goes farther and farther away from its uh, initial plans and its initial direction, with the with the plan of the future and things of such, now we're just putting franchises in here left and right that that are just Disney franchises and, and are trying to to basically get people over here. It just feels like that. It feels like hey. No one wants to go to Epcot. Kids don't want to go to Epcot because all you can do in Epcot is eat, 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 and uh, I have no problem with eating, guys. But uh, that's enough of my rant here. Ellen's universe of energy is going to be gone. Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be replacing it. Like I said, not too excited about that. Uh, who knows what the Guardians of the Galaxy ride is going to be as uh, they could expand this building and could do a whole lot more with it. But who really, who really knows at this point? And it's just been said a Guardians of the Galaxy ride is going there. But yeah, that is what's going on with Ellen's guys. I would go in and shoot, uh, but I was actually here last night and was going to shoot the whole show and do everything. There is a disclaimer that says no filming during the show. You can shoot the pre preamble to it, but there's no filming during the show. And I go ahead and respect those rules under like copyright and everything else that goes with it. If they don't want me filming, I'm not going to be filming. So that's what's happening there, guys, as I, I tend to follow those rules. So the next big announcement Oh, for Epcot, as we come all the way across the park, is that Figment will be no longer, at least Figment in this situation, in this, in the current known of Figment. It's going to be an inside out ride, guys. Um, we've already heard what I think about the direction and no direction that Epcot has. Well, Figment gone. I don't really like it, but it is what it is. Um, I'll have to deal with it just as I have to deal with the other ones. And like I said, I'm not, I'm one for, for new stuff and not getting in the way of progress. If this is for progress and something happens, great, and it's and it's good, and then great. But that is that is the news there, guys. That's that's really all I have to say. Inside Out headed to Journey into Imagination. Uh, they haven't announced a close date on that yet, but when they do, I sure I'll be over here, do a magical POVs on it, get to ride Figment a few more times before they finally and finally close that down. And, uh, and in Figment's run, basically here as the park icon, or one of the park icons at Epcot. Let's go to the World Showcase, guys, as that's where the rest of the announcements were. So let's break from a little D23 news to a little bit of a rumor that's going around on the internet right now. And that is that there's a Holiday Lights Spectacular headed to, to Epcot. Um, apparently it's been several years since they did Holiday Lights at Epcot. And there's rumors of it happening again, uh, which these are chest rumors. Um, so who knows, but if it happens, it's kind of looking like it would happen in this area that I'm walking through right now. The the entrance into the International Gateway. But um, who knows about that, that's uh, not, not a fact at all, but definitely a rumor that I found interesting as I was looking through some forums yesterday and looking through a few sites, is that there could be something, not, not Osborne, let's just say that. It's not gonna be an Osborne, but something, uh, something, something that's a lot of lights headed to Epcot for Christmas, which would be awesome. But it's 11 o'clock, guys, and the World Showcase is open, and I'm pouring 
sweat already. Uh, definitely going to be a hot, hot, humid day here at Walt Disney World, guys. As we head over to France. Yep, you got it. We're headed to France. We're going to talk about the new ride coming to France. France, guys, we are in France. The site of the next, no longer rumor, but fact that a Ratatouille ride is coming to France in the near future, guys. Uh, not exactly sure where they're putting this. Uh, not really gonna, like, I haven't dove into the, the, the drawings and everything, but it's coming. Uh, weirdly enough, after I've just said I don't like the direction or don't like that, I kind of like the fact that the Ratatouille ride's coming to France. Uh, I can't, I can't lie about that. I'm kind of a little bit excited that the Ratatouille ride. I've seen stuff from the one in Paris and it looks really, really, really cool. So hopefully it's pretty much rumored to be exactly like that. And uh, so it's gonna be back here in France. Not really sure, not really sure where it's going, but it is going in France. So that's some progress or something that I'm actually looking forward to. I know you're waiting for me to actually be looking forward to them. I am actually looking forward to the Ratatouille ride in France, guys. As we continue our walk around the World Showcase, guys, we are headed up on a spot that quite a few people will know and quite a few people will recognize and this is the con I shouldn't say confirmed I guess the rumored spot for one of the new countries coming to Epcot in the quite near future I will not say rumor because I can't find anything that confirmed this though I've had discussions with some people and this rumor is is definitely happening so and this is where I found out it was gonna be. We are over here where the trains are, and guess what? My rumor, or as much as it can be confirmed, I should say, and I would say it's highly, highly, highly likely, and I would I would stake a lot on it. This is where Brazil's going. Right behind us, right behind us here, is where the new country of Brazil will be going in the World Showcase. So, I think we're going to be saying goodbye to those trains, or at least seeing them move somewhere else. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like there was a little bit of an accident. One train is on its side. We definitely have one train down, guys. Still a rumor, and not confirmed, but I will almost guarantee you that's where Brazil is going in the quite near future. I will also say this because there's been a survey going around that asks about a Brazilian steakhouse. So everything just leads up to believing that Brazil is joining the World Showcase in the near future. Let's go cool off a little bit and head to Frozen Ever After for the Fast Pass. I will say I got quite lucky today as I was able to log on this morning about 8, 45, 9 o'clock-ish and grab a fast pass for Frozen. Uh, there was only a couple uh, and like one second they were available and the next second they weren't. So uh, this is the first time I've got to ride Frozen ever after in forever. Uh, it's been a long, long while since I've rode Frozen. So this should be a nice treat to get out of the sun and get out of the heat for a few moments.
today on our state Texas with an unselfish act of true love. <laughs> says I am a fan of that ride I never did ride Maelstrom so I don't really have a attachment to Maelstrom uh, and I'm not a big Frozen fan but I do feel like that ride even though it's short and kind of spotty with the storyline is a really good ride it's a really good ride it's really 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 fun so Definitely a good one for the kiddos as well. As we're walking out and my glasses are a bit fogged, hopefully the camera, camera looks good. Glasses are a bit fogged, but I can deal with that. It is a, it is now a 40 minute wait. So like I said, over in line, that looked like a much longer wait than just 15 minutes. I think we are about done. I, I'm trying to think if, I've, if I can remember anything else that I haven't talked to you about with Abcot. Um, Lots of changes, like I said, sorry guys, the mouse out front should have told you that Epcot is under construction because it is going to be a lots and lots of refurbs, lots of new things in the next three to four years. You will not, I think, I think world showcase wise you'll still recognize Epcot, but the front half of the park, I feel like you might not recognize it if you haven't been here in a while. guys that is gonna be it from Epcot today short little trip in and out talking about the d23 things and got to ride frozen so that's kind of the highlight of my trip but yeah all of the stuff everything is a change in here at Epcot guys everything why did I just become Irish I don't I really do, I really don't know how I became Irish all of a sudden <laughs> but uh yes everything is changing at Epcot as I walk out the front here Guardians coming Meh. Uh, they are changing under refurb right now is is Mission Space. They're adding a new mission to Mission Space. Uh, inside Out coming. Meh. Ratatouille. I'm excited about Ratatouille. That's right. I'm excited about Ratatouille. Um, then we have China getting a new show and new projections and new screens and everything. That should be cool. Like I said, there's just a roll of new stuff over here under construction for a bit There's, but there will still be more stuff to do here than there was in Hollywood as they are about to close one more thing over there it is hot it is humid it is starting to pick up here at Epcot on a Thursday guys I'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna get out of here from Spaceship Earth and me let's call it a day and I'll see you next time guys Stay magical.